Hi! This is a review of Wither by Lauren the Stefano, and it is the first book in the Chemical Garden trilogy. There are two reasons why I picked up this book. Number one, it sounded really creepy and freaky, which I like sometimes. And number two, so many booktubers were talking about this book and a lot of people were saying that it was really good, so that's why I decided to buy it. Wither is a dystopian book. The story is about a 16-year-old girl called Ryan, and she lives in a very interesting world. Because of scientists messing around with DNA, people had figured out how to kind of optimize human beings. So there was this really strong generation, they were all super healthy, but then it turned out that all their children died at a very young age. All guys die when they're 25 and all girls die when they're 20. Not sure why there is that age difference. It hasn't been explained so far, but maybe in the end there will be some kind of explanation for that. And you know, this is one of these things that could make society kind of freak out. So when the book starts, we're at the point where the first strong generation is about 60 to 70 years old, and most of them have already lost their first generation of children and are now on their second. In a kind of desperate attempt to get more babies and experiment with the DNA and see if you can get children to survive. They've set up this really weird system where girls are being kidnapped and guys get to take several brides and then they have to live as sister wives in polygamous relationships. So yeah, the storyline is a little bit uh out there. Basically, Ryan lives with her twin brother and she is then kidnapped and sold to a rich family where she has to marry Lyndon, who already has a couple of wives. And so the first book is kind of the story of how Ryan is living in the mansion where she's being held captive. When I heard about the premise of this book, I thought it had so much potential. It could be interesting, it could be shocking, it could raise all kinds of questions. And while it did have a lot of interesting things going on, I was a bit disappointed. And before I'm gonna go through a list of all the things I didn't really like about it. I want to say that I didn't hate this book. There were just a lot of things that kind of annoyed me, so uh, let's get started. The first thing that kind of bothered me was the character of Ryan. I don't necessarily always go for very character-driven books. There are a lot of books that I like that are mainly about a storyline or a very interesting world, so sometimes I'm okay with characters not being that in-depth, but in this book I felt like I did not know who this girl was at all. Because this whole world is kind of so shocking, this girl is taken on a roller coaster ride of emotions, but I didn't quite get that in the book. I felt that she was terrified for a bit, like the first couple of pages were excellent, and then suddenly it seems like she doesn't care that much. She might say that she's scared, but then nothing else in the book indicates that she actually is scared. I think that if a book is set in a world that is so different from the one that your readers know, you need to be very careful in setting up the character and making sure that every once in a while the reader is reminded how the character fits into the world and what they already know or don't know about it. I don't want to compare this to The Hunger Games, but there's a scene that matches very well that I've talked about before. It is the hot chocolate scene in which Katniss is on the train to the capital and she drinks orange juice and hot chocolate for the first time and she has kind of a very overwhelming experience and that is the moment that you, as a reader, realize what her life has been like before this moment. I mean, you can start out the book by telling the reader that this girl is poor and hungry, but then later on, if you kind of remind them, instead of saying it, showing them, that works very well, and I felt like that kind of never happened in Wither. So I felt like I never got a really good view of Ryan as a character, and because of that, I didn't really care about what happened to her. There was one thing that kind of made me laugh out loud, because I thought that it was a joke at first, or not the complete truth, and I'm still hoping that this isn't what has actually happened to the world, but I'll, I'll read this part to you. All we were taught of geography was that the world had once been made up of seven continents and several countries, but a third world war demolished all but North America, the continent with the most advanced technology. The damage was so catastrophic that all that remains of the rest of the world is ocean and uninhabitable islands so tiny that they can't even be seen from space. So like I said, I'm very much hoping that it turns out not to be true because this is just what Ryan knows, so if this is actually what has happened to the world then I don't know what to say. There are some other things that I'm hoping won't become a thing in the other books, like the fact that she has two different eyes. It's a thing that's mentioned so many times, and then there's also a specific mention of how twins don't necessarily have the same DNA or something along those lines. It felt very specific and like a very obvious setup, which is some kind of revelation at the end of the book. So once again, I'm hoping that that doesn't become a thing so that this isn't actually that obvious. That being said, I finished this in a day or two and I really wanted to keep reading even though there were a lot of things that I didn't like about it. So it was compelling enough 
but it definitely had some issues and basically because people were telling me that it was so good, I was a little bit disappointed. I'm not sure if I'm gonna continue reading this trilogy, but I probably won't unless you guys can convince me that the second one's really good. So more than ever, I would really like to know what you guys thought of Wither. Also, side note, the cover is absolutely beautiful and so is the back and so is the design on the inside. <laughs> I will talk to you guys later. Doei!